Sometimes on a homestead, you have to do things that are counterintuitive uh, to normal, rational, kind of, you know, everyday kind of work things. Uh, because, frankly, it takes more time to do a thing, or more effort, rather, to do a thing, rather than not to do a thing. And, well, today's that day, and so I tell you, yes, it's true. Pants sometimes are for losers. Good morning, Nana. You are on guard duty here, aren't you? Making sure everybody's good to go. I got your food, ladies and gentlemen. Ready to go. Let's do this. Yes, some days pants are for losers. I'll tell you why. Because if it takes more effort for me to put on brand new jeans and get them all dirtied up for only an hour's worth of work, that's not fair to everybody else. If it's only 13 degrees outside, what the heck? I'm only outside for a half hour, your legs are not that cold. Whatever, get over it. Uh, bunch of hungry, hungry hippos. Hey, we got a renegade this morning, come on. Looking for the grass, but the goodies are over here. Get moving. Good morning. Cow yuckiness. It's about dealing with, or enduring, putting up with, however you want to put it, a little bit of hardship in exchange for a greater payoff. Think about it like this. Uh, another example would be when you're cooking a meal. If you can cook a meal with, say, one dish or one pot or one this or that, instead of five and then making a mess out of all the dishes, cups, and blah, 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 blah. Why wouldn't you? If it's just a small amount of hardship to do what you need to get done, rather than make a huge mess, and then it, it's all that extra effort, why wouldn't you? So yeah, pants, they're for losers. Check out this dairy farm. This is just one farm, starting from that building over there on the left, and going, and going, and going, and still, still going. going. Still Look going. at the size of these buildings. Woo -hoo. Oh wait, and here's the parlor up here. Come we here. are told that this single dairy farm does over a million dollars of business a day. It's nuts. Whoa. Still going. Still going. Check this out, guys. This is pretty neat. We were driving around and saw this, and it's, I guess it's just a big, tall ice glacier thingy. It looks like they light it up down there like some kind of a Christmas display or something. But how cool is that? Pretty neat. Well, enough of that silliness, at least for now. Uh, the rumor is, the word on the street is that we are going to get ready to get some seriously bad weather, talking down into the negatives. I even saw one report that said negative 20 with wind chill and all that kind of nonsense. So it's gonna be zero fun trying to work out in that kind of cold, and you probably don't wanna do it for any you know length of time anyway, so I'm gonna get some stuff done. Gotta do a little bit of fixing up on the old tractor here, the snow thrower. We got a hay ring we're gonna put together and some other doodads. Oh, and we've got a tale to tell you about a rooster, a rooster tail. So, yeah. So I actually got the snow thrower here working pretty good, except, uh, well, we got the chains on there and that helped a great deal. And just going slow and taking it little bite by little bite, it seems to do okay. Uh, however, this bar right here, it isn't affixed to, uh, on there with like a cotter pin or whatever, and it keeps popping off and that's what raises and lowers this auger. So I got a drill bit and I got a, you know, a cotter pin and I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this on there, but this dang thing ain't moving. It's not, it's just a budget. If I can just get this thing here to move like one inch, I'll be able to drill it a hole. But it does not wanna come. Well, I got an idea. When in doubt, use a bigger hammer. And I'd say this is a pretty big hammer. 
See what we can do. Perfect. That should keep that on there pretty nice. You ever have those times when maybe a friend slips and falls, but when you when you know that they're okay, it's kind of fun to chuckle at it because you know they're not hurt and they're just kind of, it was a funny slip and fall moment. Or, you know, one of those whiz bang kind of, whoops, I walked into a this or, well, sometimes I kind of feel that way when I'm watching myself work. I kind of feel like, yeah, it is really worth laughing at and chuckling about. And, uh, well, Brad, you just go, you big dumb animal. Just keep going, man. Keep it real. It's like I do this for a living. Okay, I told you we had a mystery with a rooster. Uh, don't know what happened, but last night, the kids found this rooster uh, with a bloody tail. And none of the other hens nor any of the other roosters have any issues at all. And this one is the big boy. He is the alpha chicken, the rooster. He is the dominant one, so we don't think that the, one of the other roosters got at him, and we, but this, the, the chicken coop stays pretty darn locked up tight, and so I'm wondering if maybe some kind of a, a weasel or something got in there and he fought it off, but you know, the, the other hens, they don't, the, the, the color red, they'll go after it, so they were picking at it, but we don't think that it was the chickens that did it. But um, we're gonna have to keep on our toes and try and figure out this mystery because we can't have our chickens being nibbled upon. Ugh. What is the good word today, Macy? You are just a picture of grace and poise. A cow among cows. <coughs> well stated, well stated, sir. We're gonna get some Vetracin on you and get you properly medically treated up ASAP. And over here, we've got the beginnings of some form or fashion of a little place that we can do some woodworking and outdoor projects in the barn. Still a mess, still a work in progress, but we're making progress and that is important. So I gotta get back to work, lots of stuff to do, videos to edit, you know, the yada yadas and the yippee skippies. So that's it for today, guys. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead. You have an amazing day.